the progress being made to get South Florida back to normal. Let's take a look at what it found. And we're off. The first flight out from Miami International Airport this morning, a welcome to sign of normalcy in a city rocked for days by Hurricane Irma. Chopper 4 was there when Miami Beach residents could enter the island, but that meant tie-ups on the causeway. Some residents and business owners were finally allowed to go back to the Keys. The police roadblock at Florida City opened and anxious drivers had to wait a bit longer in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic to get through. Hard-working crews spent the day yesterday clearing US-1 to make way for those drivers. The mounds of debris now sit on the sides of the road. But when they get there, this. Boats in Key Largo sharing the canal with murky water crowded with seaweed and litter. We knew mobile homes would have a hard time holding up to Irma's storm surge, proof here in the Keys. But more help is coming. The National Guard flying into Opelika Airport today with their H-60 and Chinook helicopters. Fuel is restocked, and that means drivers are lined up. Here's three jammed gas stations right next to each other off of I-95 and Northwest 103rd Street. More gas is needed to fill up all the stations. Here's a fuel ships ready to dock at Port Everglades when given the word. Chopper 4 by air watching a cruise ship by sea pulling into the port. And finally, a spray-painted heart on a shutter in the Keys, a bright symbol of our continued love for our community.